Greetings from the grave, Haddonfield's homeboy, Jamie Myers, the Mad Hatter of Splatter. That's right. Killer King of Crystal Lake, the Gore Father, Zero Voorhees, and with us tonight. I'm finally on screen. That's right. Cropsy Hesh. In the house. And my sexy hat. All you ladies, we'll give you some time. We know it may be getting hot up in here. So, <laughs> in a moment there, just check that out. Triple threat over here. That's bro. it. <laughs> Triple threat match. All right, so before we start, first of all, we'd like to explain some things of what's going on. A, the scenery. We're over at Cropsy's house doing it up this style. Because my, my new location is not ready yet, and that's where Horror from the Grave is going to be uh, shot at every week now. We'll be at my new location because my lady had to go off to school in California so that's right it's been a couple chaotic weeks here people let yep. me tell you so I had to, we had to move out of our apartment basically because I couldn't afford it by myself yep so with Jamie Myers moving I've had a little internet problem so I haven't been online in a while but I hear that's gonna be fixed this week again <laughs> that sucks it oh, does it, you know you always you get to the oh yeah we got it fixed <laughs> And then it crashes again in two days. Trust me, I know all about that. My internet yeah. goes up and down every so, day. Like, hopefully that'll be fixed and we'll be back on our regular schedule and cranking out the horror news like we're going to do now. First of all, let's start off with some of this. Zombieland 2 is going to be 3D. No, 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 no. It may be 4D. Really? 4D. You ever, if you don't know what 4D is, you can go to uh, Universal what? Studios and they have that Shrek thing. Uh -huh. And like, if if you're running or something, they kick the fans on so the wind's blowing through your hair. If there's water splashes, they got like these little hoses that spray little water in your face. So I'm, uh, the thing is, is that in some select theaters, Zombieland will be 4D, which means when uh, blood hits the screen, they're going to shoot air in your face or something like that. That's bad. To make it feel like blood's hitting you in the face and everything. Nuts. So let's hope that works. Let's Four, 40's nuts. 40's nuts. 40's nuts. Motherfucker. That's how it's going down. So let us know what you think about that. Could 4D be coming to the horror realm? I'm stoked. I liked the first one. I thought it was awesome. It was. I finally got to see Zombieland uh, recently. And uh, yeah, it's badass. If you if you still haven't seen it, uh, go check it out. It's it's bad, dude. It's Bill, Murray, much, uh, Bill Murray's part is Oscar worthy. It's pretty much the American version of Shaun of the Dead. Pretty much. And I approve. Yeah. <laughs> the list is funny, too. Cardio. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number 58. Yeah. Cardio, he's all running all <laughs> in perfect form. All right. On more D news, Ghostbusters 3D and Bill Murray has confirmed. Yes, he has confirmed. So uh, looks like everybody's back. And Ghostbusters will be coming out 2011, I believe it is. It'll be 3D. And what it's going to do is it's going to end a trilogy and start a new one at the same time. That's bad. So they're going to have a new crop of ghost hunters, or ghost busters, ghost hunters. <laughs> <laughs> Still Sorry. Still rumor with like Seth Rogen and all them or whatever it yeah. was. That'd be, yeah. Yeah, it's still that rumor still. That Seth Rogen's gonna be in it. Yeah. Supposedly. Oh. Well. Keenan and Kale, Seth Rogen, or something, some weird. Weird. Light up. Yeah. We'll let you know. That's for sure. We'll keep you posted on that. Oh, and I found out why Rick Moranis won't do it. What? Because he retired right. from acting. Yeah. That's why he ain't doing it. He retired from acting. Yeah. Yep. He retired. Why the hell did he retire from acting? This is Rick Moranis. He, he shrunk, shrunk the everyone. Kids, right? oh. <laughs> shrunk he his, shrunk his career. Shrunk his brain. <laughs> shrunk his goddamn career. That will happen. Then he, then he blew it up at the end, remember? Then he blew, that's right, he did. Because he went to Vegas with the kid and it was all blown up. See, now, if I was going to Vegas, I'd just blow up one body part. <laughs> and if I was going to Vegas, I wouldn't take my kid. The dick hole? <laughs> yeah. No, not the hole. The whole thing. <laughs> Can you imagine just a regular wing with like this pit of Zarlacc from Star Wars? <laughs> oh, just <laughs> oh, you're gonna you have want... many, many a dates on a Saturday night with that right there. No problem. Paranormal Activity opened in Italy, and all like the politicians and all the yeah, all the uh, the higher ups, if you will. These motherfuckers have the suit and ties. There you go. They're uh, freaked out because uh, it was freaking out Italian teenagers. Bad. Badly. Bad. 
So, uh, so is that they're they're debating pulling paranormal activity out of the theaters in Italy. Yeah. So is that like reactions. is that like we're returning the favor to Italy since they scared me as a kid with all their good movies? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same. Yeah, that could be. That could be. Could be. They're, they're like, finally, the Americans got some shit that made us shit our pants. <laughs> I know. And it didn't star Sylvester Sloan. <laughs> yep. We can hawk, bro. We can hawk. <laughs> Saw 7. Endgame. This is the news he's been waiting for right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, with, with the statistical, <laughs> as I've said before, the statistical flop of Saw 6, it looks like Saw 7 is going to be it. They're, that's it. They're done. Uh, 5 didn't do that good. Six did even worse. Four lit balls. Four wasn't that good. Three was decent. It was mediocre at best. Two, Two was mediocre, decent, and one was pretty mm, good. It was all right. One was pretty good. It was all right. Be, so um, it looks like the Saw franchise may be coming to an end until they decide to remake it. Yeah, Did which you know will be in like a year. You know, it's gonna yeah. happen. Now, here was some funny rumor news I found on Bloody Disgusting about a new Jaws 3D that was yeah. going to star Tracy Morgan. Which would be kind of cool, but weird. Uh, yeah. This would be more of a... I don't know. If Tracy Morgan... Yeah, yeah, well, if he started going off, the shark would just leave. I mean, like, enough of this. Shark would be hit the Apollo? I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it's... Chum at the Apollo. It's not going to work. So that was a rumor and everything like that. Not a lot of horror news going on because everyone and everything right now seems to be focused towards the Wolfman. Yes, the Wolfman. That's my story. Everyone is shitting that their is. pants over the Wolfman. <laughs> the hairy man hash, the Wolfman. So that comes out this Friday, right? Yes. Well, yeah. Is it yes. this Friday or next Friday? No, it's this Friday because I, I remember I was all, that's going to be a cool Valentine's Day movie as a Wolfman. Yeah. I'd be rocking it the same way my grandparents did. Let's go see the Wolfman. <laughs> You know, so. Or are they going to be like My Bloody Valentine or like stop showing for Valentine's Day weekend like that weekend? Yeah, probably. Here's <laughs> the thing. Here's the pro of Wolfman that I like. Not only, I mean, it is a remake, but they're doing it right. They're keeping the time period the mm -hmm. same. Yep. Um, the only CGI is during transformation. Other than that, it's all old school. And uh, there's a cool article with Rick Baker and he talks about all the effects. Check it out on Bloody Disgusting and you can find it there. And that's pretty much it on Horror News. <laughs> How much time is left on this tape? I don't know. I can't see because of Hesh's DVDs. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we still got two minutes. Okay. Here's some quick news. Happy quick news. late birthday to George Romero. 70th birthday or oh, yes. 80th birthday, whatever it was, was last week. 70s. 70s, 80s, 90s, 120s. He's like Fidel Castro, bro. He's never going to die. He's never... <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> He's, and he's like Dick Clark. He'll have a small stroke, but he'll still do it. And if you guys get a chance, recommended from this guy. Me and him found it, but he's got to watch it. I haven't got to see it yet. House of the Devil. Check it out. I dig it. I thought it was good. I got the whole late 70s, early 80s horror flick. It's not a slasher, so don't expect a slasher. It's about Satanism and all this stuff. So it's pretty good. Though. I recommend it. It's creepy. It's got a decent amount of blood. Slow going at first, but you still watch it. I, I dig it. There you go. And then uh, Fangora website has been down for the past... It's been up and down for the past few weeks. They must have the same internet connection I do. Well, <laughs> the, the rumor going around the mill is, is Fangora finally calling it quits. What? Yeah, that's the rumor going around the mill. So You heard it here on Horror So let, let's discuss that. That's the rumor going around the mill. So mm. when this video hits up, I want to hear what you guys' opinions on that. If you care, if you don't care. Me, personally, I don't give a fuck because I'm all about Horror Hound Magazine. I think they they picked up where Fangora left off 20 years ago when they, yeah, they got a little stopped being corporate. good. Yeah, stop, started being yeah. a little too corporate. Twilight on the cover. Uh, yeah, that's not, sorry. that's not horror for sparkle me. Sparkle Fairy, Sparkle Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're out. All right, so we're going to come back, and we got a shitload of questions to answer for y'all and we're gonna get on that next